Hey guys, uh, just a, another short video of some progress I made um, with installing DivMMC interfaces. Um, installing those consists of two steps. Uh, first is to um, program the CPLD chip and second is to program the APROM chip on the board. And in the past, uh, programming the APROM meant that I had to uh, unlock the APROM. Um, sometimes it was locked when they came from the manufacturer. Um, some, often not, so it's not always necessary, but it can do any harm to unlock them. And the second uh, step, of course, is to flash the actual APROM, and the third step is to lock it again. Uh, you could ask yourself, why should you lock the APROM? Um, well, that's very easy. Um, if you don't lock the APROM, then some software may by accident override the contents of the APROM and we want to avoid that because it could break your DivMC interface and then you have to uh, load software from for, some, uh, for example a smartphone or something uh, which for some people is just a uh, pain in the ass. So uh, we tried to avoid that um, but I hated it that I needed to run free routines, free utilities uh, which is uh, time consuming and I wanted to automate the process anyway. So let's uh, let's see what the old um, programming method was first. So um, I just connected a DivMC to Flash and um, I'm using this uh, ZX Duo board which I created specifically for this. So the left is the software to program the right interface and there's a switch in between which you can use to select one of the two interfaces. Uh, this is specifically made for this purpose so it doesn't work with all interfaces and you cannot use for example an interface 1 with a DivMC but it's just made for uh, programming DivMC interfaces. So when we power on we uh, will see the standard boot up of the Ezectos screen and what we had to do in the past is first run the eProtect utility and then I had to move the switch to the right to the other interface and press E to right uh, enable the EEPROM then go back load the flash utility then go right with the switch again and press enter and this takes about half a minute. We'll fast forward this. So it's almost done. In a couple of seconds we can protect. Yeah, there it is. We go back to the left interface, we press the button again, we say E protect and we go to the right and press D to right protect the EEPROM. So that was the old way. But um, I made it possible to fully automate this, almost fully, because you still have to switch um, to the right interface once and press enter, um, but that's the only thing. So let me just show you the new method. That automatically loads the software and you can see it says SW, which means uh, you have to rock the switch again. And what you also see is when I press enter now, the uh, color of the um, letter S is becoming yellow, that means that it unlocked the chip, APROM, to program um, and it turns green when it locks the APROM uh, afterwards. So let me show you this. So it turns yellow. And the reason um, uh, I did this is because of the flasher utility uh, works also on 16K ZX Spectrums and because of that they really um, made it impossible to um, put more lines in the basic routine. So I had to create some machine code to um, uh, perform the free actions automatically after each other. This first unlock the APROM, then do the flash routine and then lock the APROM again. But it, uh, in the end it worked out well. It took about half, one and a half hour to uh, do the machine coding and testing. Uh, so now I don't have to do anything else except load the software automatically. Uh, rock the switch and press one key and that's, how, that's the only thing I have to do for each interface. So you can see it's uh, green now. I also uh, do other things in the meantime uh, like packing interfaces or flashing the CPLD chips in the meantime of the other interfaces. So uh, this will help me to automate more um, of this process. I really think it's uh, worth the trouble of uh, automating every step in the process. Uh, even uh, production, of course, of the interfaces which I'm working on with the pick and place machine, it's almost done. Uh, spent some time, you can see it in the back um, on the PC today, um, creating the files that the pick and place machine needs. Anyway, this is just one more step of the process, and um, uh, it still requires some manual work, uh, but it's um, really getting a lot less 
uh, compared to the past and I'm really looking forward to producing a lot more interfaces um, each day and offering them on uh, several new sales channels like uh, foreign eBay channels and, and whatnot. We'll see. But it will help me to keep up with all the work uh, that you guys um, give me, of course. Uh, I'm very thankful for that uh, because uh, this is my full-time job now and I really like doing this. Um, but I, uh, I need some sleep from time to time, you know? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching this video again, uh, of course, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!